Gear Master here. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a dent. I picked a small dent on this car. I'm going to show you how to repair it. When a dent, car gets dented or a panel gets dented, it goes in but it also stretches the metal. So we can either go from underneath through the liner and tap it out and dolly it out or just drill holes. So I'm just going to drill holes and do it quick. Now, you can see there's a crease going right across, so we want to kind of follow that crease. We want to put a hole maybe once, one every day. Just enough to get it out, get it moving. Tap the high spots out. You don't want to over pull it. If you over pull, you just tap it out. Pretty smooth if we're going to grind it and then fill it. If it was a bigger date, you would do it on a bigger scale. You want to grind this, and this shows you a picture of where the high spots are. And the paint will remain where there's a little rose spot. So I'm going to pull it in here just a little bit and regrind it. All right, so it's important that these little holes here are slightly below grade. Because what we're going to do is bridge over the top of everything, create like a bridge. You won't notice. So what I'm going to use here is some fiberglass. I always like using fiberglass for a first coat. And then we're going to go to a regular Bondo. But my preference is fiberglass. This is a hardener. It's two part. We're going to mix that up. Mix it up to it's 100% mixed. And if you don't get it all, stay soft and we're going to put our first coat over what I like to do is make sure those holes get filled and then we bridge over all right so this is our first coat I'm going to smooth that out then we're going to go with a coat of Bondo and then probably a final coat of something that's real smooth and then prime and paint. All right, so now I'm going to use uh, a, a DA. I have 320 grit here. I like to use something more abrasive, but I'm out of it right now. So we're going to smooth this out. I'm going to give it another coat. Hey! We get it as smooth as we can and we want to feather the edges you want to stretch it out a little bit each time 
Then we're going to give it another coat of Bondo, and then a finished coat, and then primer. You want to mix this Bondo up 100% because if you get a soft spot in there, and after you smooth everything out and paint it, then you'll get a bubble and it'll break through your paint. You want to make sure it's 100%. You want to build over, that's what you want to do. You don't want to go thin with it. We're not filling, we're building over. Then we're going to smooth that out. Alright, we could also use a hand block. I got a hand block with 80 on it. And this is contoured, so we're going to kind of go with the contour. So you go both ways. Then once I got it down where I want it, I'll DA the edges nice and smooth again. And then we're going to give it a skim coat. See how a small dent becomes bigger and bigger? But if you want to really conceal it properly, it's got to get bigger and bigger. Get all those edges smooth so everything feathers real well. Ready to mix the final skin skim coat. It's a, it's a thinner plastic, so it gets thinner and thinner. When we started with this, we started with heavier 320. Oh, well, we ground it and then we worked at the 320, then all the way down to 180. So also that the plastics get thinner too. This is just a lighter coat, just to fill any other scratches and then we're actually going to wet sand this off with a block it's already drying now we're going to sand that final coat we're going to use a block 320 wet paper and we're going to use water to make it nice and smooth. You want to keep water flowing over there as we sand it with the block. And we got to keep in mind there's a contour on this. It's not a flat panel, so we got to kind of work the shape. We keep squirting it with water to keep the sandpaper clear. Alright, so now that it's all wet sanded nice and smooth, it'll be ready for primer. And you can see how far that dent, that little dent that was here was actually all up in here. You can see how it, it's actually bigger than what you think. So she's ready for primer and uh, primer will be the last coat that really fills it and allows it for feathering. So we're going to dry it off and prime it. The regular primer, we're going to hit it with some self etching primer is because Parts are now made with galvanized metal and regular primer won't adhere to it. So the self-etching, you need to put a little coat on all the bare metal spots where it will flake off. Just really the bare metal spots, create a barrier and then we're going to prime it. Now we're going to prime it with 2K primer. We'll give it a dust coat and then we'll give it three coats. And then when that's done, we'll sand it and paint it. We're going to wet sand it with 320. And then we're going to go over it with 400. You want to finish it with 400. 400 paper. 
as we're sanding, we're going to use the bottle of water too. We're going to get it nice and smooth. And then that'll even make it even more smoother. See how that little dent turned into a big dent? Big repair area. And then we're going to scuff the rest and then refinish it. We use a gray scuffy pad for around the edges. For our blend area. I like to go in circles because when you paint it, it hides any lines or anything that might kind of show through if they ever do. Kind of fools the eye. Good way to see what it's going to look like with paint on it is to hose it down. Got to clean it before you paint it anyway, and it kind of shows you how it's going to look. This one looks real good. Nice and smooth. We'll dry it up, tape it up, and we finish. All right, so there's the finished product. Nice and shiny, no dent. And that's how you repair a dent. Basic stages in auto body repair. Joe Beermaster, give me a like and subscribe.